I'm General Mike Garrett, Commanding General United States Army Forces Command. I asked Command Sergeant Major Court Cornelison to join me so that we can share some thoughts and guidance about how we will address the coronavirus pandemic. As you will see, even for this message, we are practicing social distancing. Right now, we are living through unprecedented events globally and here at home. This pandemic is affecting our daily lives and will continue to for some time. As good stewards who have the trust of the American people and as citizens ourselves, we owe it to those we are sworn to protect to adhere strictly to best practices for limiting the spread of COVID-19. Coupled with that, we must not forget that our worldwide requirements remain unchanged. At FORCECOM, our number one priority is to deliver decisive total Army readiness to meet global combatant command requirements. And even now, this priority will not change. Our civic leaders are employing all means to defeat the COVID-19 virus. Each of you at our forts, bases, camps, centers, and armories play a vital role in your local community's mitigation plan. Your commanders are working hard to keep our soldiers, civilians, and family members informed with the latest information and guidance to keep you safe. Despite the challenges wrought by COVID-19 pandemic, we will remain ready to meet combatant commander requirements. When our nation calls, ForceCom provides lethal units that are ready to fight tonight and win, and we will be ready. Although we have had to modify troop movements and training exercises, there are still things we can do at home station to build and sustain readiness and master the fundamentals. That's right, sir. We have got to continue building experts through individual and small unit collective training or foundational training strategies more relevant than ever. We expect all soldiers to be experts on their assigned weapons and in their MOS skills. Squads should also focus on equipment maintenance and readiness, especially our medical equipment. Our medical personnel and equipment may be in high demand over the coming days and weeks, and we have to be ready. That's right, Sergeant Major. It's never wrong to do PT. Now is not the time to get out of shape. Leaders should maximize physical training at the individual and squad level. Some may question the activities required to maintain readiness, namely soldiers reporting for work and executing training. My message to them and each of you in ForceCom is that police, firefighters, health officials, and soldiers have a special responsibility to remain ready, especially during a national emergency. We urge everyone to continue to take necessary individual precautions. Follow guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control and civic leaders. Stay up to date on any guidelines or instructions that change. Continue to practice social distancing and wash your hands often. Limit gatherings to no more than 10 people. This applies to meetings, church services, ceremonies, and of course, formations. Even if you are otherwise healthy, you are at risk and your activities can increase the risk to others. Use your available communications capabilities to the greatest extent. Video teleconferences, phone calls, Skype, and even email are good ways to collaborate and disseminate information. Avoid eating or drinking in bars, restaurants, and food courts. Use the drive-through, pickup, or delivery options. Limit travel within your, within your local community to only those trips that are necessary. If you feel sick, contact your medical provider and chain of command, and stay home. If your children are sick, keep them at home. Do not send them to school and contact your medical provider. If someone in your household tests positive for the coronavirus, keep the entire household at home and contact your chain of command and medical provider. It is important that all of our leaders remain engaged. I need all section leaders to check on their soldiers every day. Make sure they are safe, fit, and ready. We will lead our way through this together. And balance risk to the force, with our mission to ensure we are ready. I have absolute confidence in the men and women of ForceCom as we work together to flatten the curve and kill the virus. Freedom's Guardian. Guardian.